Yes, sir. Oh, man. Mike wasn't on. Did another video of this before, and I had my microphone shut off, so this is take two. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show this quad rider, this vintage quad rider I picked up yesterday from uh, RMK Miniatures in Lapine, Oregon. It's pretty bitchin', man. It's pretty bitchin'. I gotta say, this thing is really cool. I think I lucked out pretty hard. I paid 300 bucks for this. Uh, the price tag on the box is 325 Arrow Hobbies, some old hobby store a long time ago. So, um, show this box here, man. It, it's sick, dude. Oh, this box is so sick. Look at that guy catching some action right there. Look at that dude. He's catching action. He's on a quad rider. There's the model. There he is in the mud. He's getting down. This box is so sick. 1997, man. You can see that there. Insane, man. Insane. You got your point uh, one two that I believe was uh, featured um, not too long ago by Hybrid in that bug, that Kyosho Kyosho bug. He's got a couple videos on it. So there's a little point one two right there. Not very fast. Perfect. A little chiller. And uh, so we'll set this box. What's on this side? Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Got old hobby store. Aero Hobbies. There's another. So the box gives you some pretty good ideas on how to paint this figure right here. So it's kind of it's this kind of um, rubber. It's not like hard plastic. It's just kind of rubbery kind of thing that'll have some give if, if dude takes a gribble here. Right on his bung here it says uh, 1997. If you guys can see that. Made in Japan, 1997, Kyosho. So, um, that'll be cool, painting him up. Um, these are bitching, man. I have three quad racers. Here's one of my videos. This is right by my house. And uh, it's just a forest road up from my house. It's, um, it's about a six mile barge. Uh, this road's on the way to Mount Bachelor. You go up that road, it goes up to our ski mountain here, snowboard place. And then this forest road just crosses over to like where my route is down in Lapine. It's like the secret little forest road. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can take it all the way, all the way down to Lapine. There's my quad racer purring right along. This is when I first got it. I actually have an 87. Whoop, message from mom. Um, so this is an 87. Uh, the 85 and 86 models didn't have six speeds. So um, I'm really stoked I found, uh, found one with six speeds. And there I am. So this little dude's me. You know? It's a model version of me on my quad racer. So pretty excited about that. It's just cool. Um, get him painted up and stuff. This body was painted killer. They did a good job. Oop. I like the antenna. I don't know if my new receiver that I put in will have a long antenna like that. But I might just try to leave an antenna anyway. It's just killer. I mean, look at this long antenna on this old Futaba receiver. I don't think these long antennas are necessary anymore. So they painted the body awesome. Man, this thing looks the part. They did a really good job. I was gonna thought about backing this with some white, but uh, it'll it'll splash up onto the onto the top. Look at those rad stickers. Kyosho Racing Team. A little lightning. So they did a great job putting it together. Um, so. I already looked in the engine before on my first video. I kind of went through the whole dance. 
Um, I put some um, I put some oil down in here, but I will I will restart this again just to hear it. it sounded so killer. It's really cool. Um, so as I go over the build here, it's real simple. Um, I had a um, another one of my customers gave me an old RC10. They knew I was into cars and they just gave it to me and I gave it to someone else and the build looked impossible. Like there's no way I could have built an RC10 from back in the day. No way. It looked like a gnarly erector set from hell. It was crazy. It, it did not look like a fun build at all. Those old RC10s. The car was sick. I mean, it came out cool, but it just, the build itself did not look like fun times. This is really simple and really straightforward. Maybe you could consider this toy grade. Um, the RC10 is obviously, you know, a race platform, so maybe something that's toy grade is not as complicated of a build, but um, I believe that RC10 was from the same era as this, but maybe these, since this is like a toy grade thing, it was just kind of easier to rack up. Um, you got a swing arm, I mean, just like a real bike, so sick. The shock feels like it's just running on spring, so at some point I'll, I'll, uh, get in there and see if I could get that shock out and get some oil in there. These, um, these definitely have awesome, these are doing good, good suspension up front. So pretty much it, man. Um, you got your little, little air filter, uh, Bob down at RMK, um, put me onto an, an alternate, you know, as a backup there. So I also got some paints to paint, paint my duder here. We got the most important paints are your Suzuki blue and yellow mission models. It's kind of brand I'd never seen before. Acrylic paint. I'll just use brushes when I paint up my duder. So we'll use uh, some primer. I'll primer the whole damn thing first before I start putting paint. Um, we got some metallic burnt iron, just kind of an alternate for black. We got um, also transparent dust it's kind of a gray kind of thing but sort of not really different green maybe i'll use green since i rock green goggles all the time that'll be my like i'll really try to make this dude look like me <laughs> and then here's thinner for my brushes so okay set that off to the side take one more look at the chassis and it's it's awesome this thing's really cool um, I might be able to run this ride at home in my backyard where I tried to do like a little track, but since this thing goes so slow, it's perfect. You know, I could just put it around in circles in the backyard, make like a real life little quad racer scenario back there. So, um, I'll reheat this engine up right now and get this thing fired up again. Cause that was bitching the first time. It was really cool. It fired right up. I was saying in my first video, when I looked down in the piston, there was nothing on it. Almost like the thing hadn't been fired up at all. Um, but when I pulled the plug out and I put some oil in there, it, it, it moved pretty freely. Like it has been ran before. I mean, I could still do some heat cycles on it. Like I could just let it sit there and, you know, idle and cop some heat and try to do like a re-break in if I want. Um, Maybe that's not so important in, in these little engines that do hardly any RPMs, you know, compared to our race screamers. Um, I don't know. I guess that would be a, a question for Dimitri, a uh, hybrid, you know, and anyone else that um, is into these, um, that runs these small vintage engines, you know, is, um, I mean, a break-in is necessary, I'm sure, but um, like I said, there was nothing on the piston. But then, it, but at the same time, it feels like it feels like it has been ran a bit. It doesn't feel like it's never been ran. But um, yeah, I'll just definitely try to be uh, you know careful with it. I mean, you're not you're you're not screaming this model at all. So, and that's what's killer, you know. Oh, also, this has a just one screw, just one carb screw that you turn with your finger right here, which I um, I guess is like a high or. <laughs> It's just one, one screw, man. So our clutch bell moves pretty damn freely. Everything's fine there. So I'll get this thing reheated up 
and um, and then we'll we'll start her up again. Should still be prime from the last hit. Are we in the for, first pull club? First pull club. thing right in my backyard it's not loud at all I'm super excited about this point 12 <laughs> I love that smell <laughs> it's, it's a little smoky but so what all right so what I'm gonna do now is um I'm gonna pull this plug out and then um and then just uh, get this dude back down to the bottom, you know. Plenty of oil in there. Got some good, you know, modern fuel. It's got plenty of oil in it. Um, I forget what they were saying about older engines and the, and the oil content for older engines. I've heard it a bunch. Um, you know, Dimitri's talked about it, how, it, what, um, I guess, uh, what, what older engines kind of require in a fuel package. Um, I, 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 did they have higher oil content back in the day when they ran these smaller engines? I mean, they still run them and stuff. It'd be interesting to see, um, on a main now. <laughs> what um, they offer for smaller engines, man. I mean, but I mean, I'm sure, you know, this, uh, this engine will be, it'll be fine, but, um, yeah, I'm sure modern fuel is, is, is fine in these point twelves. I mean, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to have something to run at home, man. I mean, this would be perfect. It didn't really work out with my, um, my 10th scale cars back there. They're just really low to the ground. And they just start chomping little rocks and pine cones and just stuff back there. I have pine trees back there that shit needles all over the place. This little quad racer will get over all that. Could be perfect. So, yeah, man. Um, I've seen these things going for big bucks on eBay. And um, the dude down at the store could have just as easily done that. He could have eBayed this out, you know. Had his, had his wife Sherry throw this on eBay. They're on my route too. She could have just took it home and said, you know, honey, we're going to make an extra 400 bucks off this thing. But he just had it chilling there in his store, waiting for someone to appreciate it. And my friend spotted it and said, Craig, man, get your ass down to RMK and scoop that thing. That's all you. And so, yeah, I'm lucky I did. I, I really feel like a kid. It's, it's magical. It's really cool. Really cool. So let me um, go in the other room. I got some other stuff editing. And um, shoot, I mean, we could be running this thing as soon as tomorrow, you know, but uh, I got a huge week coming up. It's getting into Thanksgiving. It's going to get busy. And um, I got to get my duder done before I run her. This thing needs a proper driver. So we got to get this dude decked out, bring him to life, and we'll run the quad rider, man. I promise. Later on, you guys. Mm -hmm.